Hey everybody, Joe here. I'm back again, and we are, once again, taking a look at some of the games on this Super 401 Multicart for the Famicom. Before I get into anything new, I wanted to take a look at Robocop 3 here, because uh, as uh, one of my viewers, Josh, pointed out, Robocop 4 is the actual Robocop 3, so let's see what this Robocop 3 really is. And clearly it's some Japanese game. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Interesting. If anybody can identify this, please let me know, because actually it looks kind of cool. Actually, you know what? I think I can identify this. Um, this resembles, uh, what, uh, oh man, what was that game, uh, Shatterhand, but the Japanese version was something totally different, and you know what, oh, there we go. Because I remember they changed Shatterhand up for, uh, America, and this is what it previously looked like before that, if I'm not mistaken. I've actually never played Shatterhand before, so this is like kind of a first, and you know what? This feels pretty good. I guess I can see why, uh, the Robocop connection, but... <laughs> yeah, this is definitely not Robocop, so that's kind of good to know what they uh, did here. Good's a duck if you can't like duck projectiles, you know. Okay, I think I'm gonna reset now. These videos might get a little longer. I'm not sure. I might go more than just 20 minutes like I did last time, because the games are gonna get a little more interesting as time goes on. Three Eyes Boy. This is a uh, this is another Famicom game that I'm actually sort of familiar with. I know, um, what's his name? Game Dave did a, uh, review of the actual game that this is. Um, it's actually kind of a cool game. I don't remember the title of it to save my life. But I'm sure this looks familiar to some of you. He does have, like, kind of like a third eye in the center of his head there. These can look kind of like troll dolls that he's done shooting at, don't they? But, yeah, this is a thing. It exists. Um, and it's not a terrible game. I'll say that much. Oh, I'm on a tr moving truck. Oops. 
excuse me for not talking too much, though. This game is actually kind of... Cool. I don't know. But, uh, I'm here trying to show you a like, bunch of games, so... I think I should reset and maybe look at this another time and do my homework on what this is, and actually maybe play it for something else in the future. So, let's move on. There's a weird title for you, Dead Fox. What's this? Okay. Some other, uh... This looks really familiar. Maybe it doesn't, I can't tell. That's still it still looks very familiar. This is another one to comment down below on if you can identify it. Okay, I died. <laughs> Apparently you're fairly limited into uh how many deaths or whatever you or how many hits you can take. But look at that animation when you shoot somebody down. It's like they turn to dust or something. They completely like disintegrate. That is freaky. Okay, I think it's time to hit reset. I want to skip ahead a little bit because I know that there's one that uh, I kind of want you guys to see. I'm not sure which one of these it is, but see these right here, Mario 10, 12, and 14? When I was looking through these before, I'm pretty sure I played one of these. I don't remember which one, and uh, I thought it was kind of amusing. Whoops. Yep, this is the one. Super Bros Kung Fu Mari. Somebody put this big ol' Mario head on, uh, if I'm not mistaken. This is a Jackie Chan's action Kung Fu, isn't it? Yeah, this is kind of surreal, isn't it? That they threw Mario's head on somebody else's body like this. I'm not making this bonus game, I don't think. in the clouds. Okay. I've actually played this a little bit, but I've actually already gotten further than what I tried playing it before. So, there's that. Oh, 
Punch a tiger in the face. That's right. That's effective. Got a tiger coming at you? Punch him! Give him a knuckle sandwich. He'll ask for seconds. Good thing he got two hands. Alright. I think I want to hit reset now. So there's two more Mario titles here that I could check out. Let's see what they are. This one actually says Mario 12 on the front, but I think we already know what this is. This is Yoshi. So, this is not really anything out of the ordinary. Oh, no, oh, Yoshi's Cookie, excuse me. Don't know why I'm confusing those two. Well, that's easy to do. I've played this many times over already. It's actually a very fun puzzle game if you've not played it. I don't think I need to really uh, go into much about this game anymore, do I? I'm gonna hit reset now. Let's see what that other one is. Clearly it's something else that's been hacked to uh, be Mario. No idea. I don't think I've seen this uh, intro before. If anyone wants to uh, leave a comment and tell me what this one was originally, uh, go right ahead. Looks kind of cool, though. I mean... Oh! You don't have to tell me what this is. This is, uh... Oh, man, one of the games, uh... What is it? Kid Nicky Radical Ninja. Evolved into, uh... In fact, this might be Kid Nicky Radical Ninja. Or whatever the Japanese equivalent is. So, don't even worry about uh, leaving a comment down below. Look at the... Look at how they uh, created this animation here. Oh! This is definitely uh, interesting. You even got like a little... Uh, reskin the enemies to be Koopa Troopers. And here's Mario with a bow staff that shoots uh, a little lightning or something like that. Wow. Good thing you do have a health bar in this game because... Uh, I'm not used to these things moving so darn fast. I don't have a key for that heart yet. Yep, Koopa Troopers, you got some spinies up there. And do I have a way to get up to that point? Jumps are super floaty. Can I get jump that high? No, I can't. Something? No. Okay, hitting reset. Again, the hot-blooded games. These are Kunio Kun titles, I believe. Um, uh, nothing here really stands out as something that sounds weird or interesting. I'm gonna go back to this page here. I thought I saw something else after Dead Fox. Hmm, what's Saint? Let's find out. I don't know, but this intro looks kind of cool. <laughs> but... Apparently everything's all, uh... Messed up here. I don't know what Japanese characters are. That might be a curse word for all I know. Probably not, just probably just a bunch of random characters. 
And apparently you need Japanese understanding to get even get into the gameplay on this, so gonna hit reset. And I think I will look at one last game on this uh, compilation for this installation of uh, the um, Joe Plays. So let's see what else we can come up with. Let's see what this Arabian is. Why not? Super Arabian. Um... I know it's not, but it kind of reminds me of Popeye. And... I don't know what the heck all this is or what, but... And you can't jump over anything, so that makes it a little hard. Okay, let's just do one more for the day. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look at Bruce Lee too. Why not? Okay. Kind of reminds me of uh, Kung Fu or uh, its uh, successor. Uh, what was that called? Uh, oh, um, vigilante. You yeah, see, they're just coming up on you and grabbing you. In a vigilante, they grab your throat and they just kind of hug you in Kung Fu, but this they're like, they were trying to do like the Vulcan nerve pinch on your shoulder there. And I am dead. Okay. I can't place this one. Like I said, it reminds me of Vigilante or Kung Fu, but it's definitely not either of them. Has the same mechanic where they just keep running at you and you can just have them run right into your foot or your fist. Oh, you get an uppercut if you hold down for a second. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that uppercut animation. That's kind of neat. I mean, does this guy's out? Can this guy's outfit get any more red, though? That's kind of weird. Ooh. And there's apparently no jump attack. Oh, no, I take that back. Up is jump. Should have figured, just like Kung Fu. And I think that's enough to wrap this up for one day. So let's see what more weird stuff this uh, multi cart holds next time. So, thank you for watching, take care.